Now, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to configure uh, the printer that we sell, the network printer that we sell uh, onto a Windows computer. This one's a Windows 10. There's not much difference um, for devices with Windows uh, XP is really obsolete. Um, Windows 7 or anything about. Uh, you need a network cable. It can be Cat 5e, Cat 6, doesn't really matter. Uh, you got the network port and the computer has to have a, a network uh, interface to plug this cable in. So I'm gonna, uh, uh, one important point, the, the default printer IP address is 192.168.123.100. So for you to communicate with the, the printer's interface, it has a web interface, uh, you need to configure your network port, port of your computer uh, off to the same range. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna plug in. And then on this All right, it's plugged in. Uh, now I need to go in, you need to get your, uh, Windows uh, computer or laptop or anything uh, to the same IP range of 192.168.123.100 of this. So 100 is the device. So maybe I'm going to set this as uh, 101. So I'm going to go ahead uh, to this uh, Ethernet configuration. Uh, I'm just going guessing at this point. Uh, change adapter options. Yeah. So this is what you normally see on Windows 7 as well. I'm kind of used to Windows 7, Windows 10 is, you know, uh, find it too fancy. Uh, I'm gonna go to properties and then go to TCP IP 4. This is the most important part where a lot of people uh, is missing out. You need the keyboard, obviously. And then I'm gonna set this um, network adapter uh, IP address to the same range of the printer. So, printer is oops, so, pardon me, 192.168.123. Printer is 100. I'm going to set this as 101. 255.255.255.0. 192.168.123.1. This you need to know. Unfortunately, if you don't know what I'm doing here, at least an idea um, I think you need professional help so I've set the IP address to the same range I'm gonna say okay to it uh, it's gonna refresh and then on the, the web browser we know that the IP address of the printer is 192.168.123.100 there you go that's the interface of the printer so if I'm gonna change this to any other uh, I go to configuration and this is where I set it. Remember, the test print, I'm going to switch this off for a second and get a test print. The test print of the network printer shows the IP address it, current, it, it currently on. So don't have to worry about not knowing the IP address really. You know what it is, get your device or the, the, the Windows computer uh, onto the same IP range, and then you'd be able to access this IP address to get that interface. Let's say I'm gonna change the IP address to 192.168.2.100. I have a change here on uh, the gateway address as well, 192.168.2.1. And I'm gonna press save, okay, and if, the change of IP address applies to the printer properly. The moment I restart the printer through this button over here, the printer should beep. So here we go. It beep means that the new IP address is now applied. Um, so I've changed that. Say OK. OK. Close. And I'm going to try my luck with 2.100. As you can see now, the IP range or IP address of the printer is 192.168.2.100. And 
and I'm able to access the printer, uh, printer's web interface via the device. Now, similar to a USB um, uh, printer, we need to install the driver. Uh, drivers through the website, uh, driver version 7.77, uh, open the zip file, it contains an exe file, uh, double click to install, uh, yes, it's running, I agree to the agreement, you can't go otherwise, uh, install. Now, very similar to a USB uh, a driver installation. And the, the difference here is uh, where you select the TCP IP port, standard TCP IP port, create a new one, and then I'm gonna set as 192.168.2.100. It's gonna take a couple of seconds. What it does is creating the, the similar to a USB port, it creates a TCP IP port that matches the printer's IP address. So the same drivers that we install for USB can be communicated via the TCP IP port. Now that's been added, close, and you can see it's over here, 192.168.2.100, I'm gonna apply, and then go to general, print a test print. So, and it's printing the test print. Thank you for watching, um, I hope to see you soon.